100,000 parts walking in close formation. Reality Opposed Bundle of Transistors A device that is created to complete tasks that we'd rather not do on our own. Tin Man's Smarter Cousin A non-conscious, stationary or mobile mechanical entity designed to perform tasks, either independently or as part of a network. Faster, such as in completing complex mathematical problems, or to just do things that we don't want to do, such as packaging goods on an assembly line. These tasks may be too repetitive, require too much precision, or be too dangerous for human workers. Silicon guts in a full metal jacket. Predicated on the inherent flaws of humans, they are mechanically weak, they get bored, they can become insurgent, they can act irrationally, they measure things in terms of their value, they want to be paid, they are easily influenced by their environments, they have egos, and they go on strike. A worker who does not require a salary, benefits, vacation or sick days. A capitalist sweat dream. A short list of qualities that we perceive to be necessary to accomplish a given task. These qualities mirror a kind of caricatured or ideal worker that can repeat a task endlessly and without variance, obediently, devotedly, and tirelessly. Which is odd since it is implied that these qualities seem to be too much to ask of any one human. They can lead to the demise of humanity or even provide comic relief. A machine that makes people think it has feelings, but it totally has no feelings. Neither person nor living creature, and so, no one I want to spend my precious dance on earth hanging out with. Things that threaten us only when they take on our species character traits and so become more like us. This makes it different from a hammer, for instance, which is not humanized but designed to allow us to complete the task rather than completing the task itself as we would. But they are not ideals, except maybe as ideals of our dehumanized selves. It is an insult to be compared to one. But what is missing in someone who appears robot-like are the qualities that make us wary about each other. Frankenstein 2.0 And now we are getting to the point in science and technology where they can also replace people. They can be created to replace our friends and loved ones because we are either a, too lazy to meet people, b, generally unlikable people, or, c, prefer things to be easy for us. A robot is the perfection of humanities, perfection of humanities, perfection of humanities. machine without the ghost.